So I want to call this video a couch streaming setup guide, but it's really more of how I am doing it. And I hope it just gives you guys some inspiration on how you may set up your streaming solution, assuming you sit at a couch, which for me sits across from the television. And I didn't want a wireless headset. I don't want to have to deal with charging and batteries and that sort of thing. So I went out and bought myself an Astro um, A40 set. Now, that requires two connections. That requires one connection that goes uh, optical to the PlayStation 4 or your Xbox One, and it requires a second USB connection that does the same thing to your Xbox One or your PlayStation 4, depending on the variant you get. So the problem is my PlayStation is sitting over here, and I didn't want to run the cables, even though the cables that come with it are about 10 feet. I didn't want to run cables from here all the way over to the couch for a couple of reasons. One, I don't think it looks very nice. Two, because of her. And three, because I'm a little OCD and I want things to look nice. So in my situation, I thought, well, maybe I could run the cables underneath the rug. They'll pop out. I could maybe put them over here and kind of feed them around, or maybe they'd pop out over here. And you have a little bit of cables over in this area, but at least you would have the majority of the main walkway cleared. And I didn't like that idea. So I did a little bit of research and I found out that USB standards dictate that pretty much anything over 20 feet, you're gonna run into some connectivity issues. So I initially bought a 25 foot cable that ran from my PlayStation and I ran it all the way down behind around the corner, behind the couch. And it's a rat's nest, like I said, this isn't the final product, it's just a proof of concept. I went ahead and ran it over here. And the, the, the mix amp that I have, the Astro mix amp that I have, um, requires a USB micro connection in the back. So they do sell a single cable that does that. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, maybe I got a bad cable, maybe because, um, the run was too long. While the mix amp would power up and you could see that the lights were on it, the PlayStation did not recognize it as a USB device, so it only did sound. You could not talk. And since I bought this headphone set primarily to stream, didn't really work out very well, kind of frustrating. So I did a little bit more research and I went ahead and again, just proof of concept, I went back over to the drawing board and this time, I used USB extenders. So there's one over there, there's another one over here, and then there's a third one right here. That gives me about 22 feet again through these different connectors, all the way around behind, you know, back to the television. That fixed my problem. I don't know why it shouldn't have. If you're gonna do a long run of cables, you're gonna wanna get USB 3 and you're gonna wanna make sure you have an inline connector that connects either to a wall or it's inline to boost the signal because you will get power. That cable will run all the way over here and it will give you power to your Astro mix amp, but it will not recognize it as a microphone. So my point is, if you wanna do this, you absolutely can. The optical cable that I bought, I bought a 35 foot optical cable because it was cheaper than a 25 foot. Not really sure why, but I figure why not? That works without issue. As far as I can tell, optical cable runs have a significantly longer length before they start to have any sort of connectivity issue. So the only thing you're gonna really have to deal with is the USB piece. So when I'm sitting here playing games, I can sit at my couch, my nice comfy couch in my game room upstairs and I don't have any cables that the old girl there is gonna trip on. Now, the last part of the couch streaming portion that I wanna talk about is your webcam. So my webcam is set up right there on the top of my TV. And I know a lot of people say, well, that's not a perfect shot, and I would agree with you. It could be a better shot. I'll go ahead and open that up now so you can kind of take a look at what I see when, or what people see rather when, um, when I'm streaming. But I can tell you that, you know, it's not as bad as I feel like it could be. The problem is for PlayStation, since I wanted to have everything basically out of the box in terms of like, I didn't want to have a second computer. 
I didn't want to have an Elgato or anything like that. I wanted to have everything just right out of my PlayStation. Since I had that set up, um, you have to use the PlayStation proprietary cable, which is connected to the camera. And the frustrating thing about that is the cable they give you is really, really short. It's about two and a half feet long. And you can absolutely get a longer cable if you wanted to. There I am. Hi. <laughs> you can see it's not the best, but it does give you a pretty good shot of what you're going to see from the TV. And that's sitting up here. Here's what it looks like on an iPhone which is a little bit nicer camera. Here's what it looks like on the television. So not horrible, but I wanted to point out that, you know, it's something worth considering for the streaming setup that this isn't all that bad considering this is really just out of the box. So out of the box, all I did was I bought this nice headphone, I ran some USB cables, I ran some fiber cables, and I'm able to sit here and people, if they wanna see me, there you are. You can watch me sitting on my couch, hanging out, playing games. So this is an out of the box couch streaming setup. It's different than what you would expect when you see a lot of the pro streamers sitting at a professional desk, sitting with a professional setup with a dedicated computer. This is all out of the box, definitely light amateur hour. I think the real key here is if you want a wired headphone and you don't wanna have any kind of tripping hazard in your house, take a little bit of time and invest in some nice USB cables and a nice optical cable, at least if you have the, the Astro set that I do. But if, even if you wanna just plug a headphone directly into your PlayStation, even better, you don't need any of this setup. But if you wanna have a little bit nicer sound, just keep in mind that this setup could work for you. And again, it's not perfect, it's a proof of concept. I hope it gives you guys some inspiration for your couch streaming project. With that, I would like to close out this video as I pan around wildly looking for my dog. Hope you guys found it informative. If you did, just leave a comment below. Let me know what your couch streaming setup is. Let me know if you found a better solution. And this is, again, for somebody who wants a nice wired headphone. Obviously, if you get the Astro A50 or the Steel Series, there's a couple wireless ones. I know Plantronics has some wireless ones. You won't need this. But if you're like me and you want a nice wired sound setup, this is, in my opinion, the preferred way to go because it keeps your living room relatively clean. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, me and Chloe... We'll see you guys on the other side.